Hello, um, back um, with some planting tips. Um, my first video I just did a little while ago was about slugs and snails and old wives tales. Um, I waffled on um, and I meant to say it was, I was talking about gardeners at the start. It wasn't clear and then obviously I was going on about the slugs and snails later on. It wasn't so clear but I think you'll get the drift. Um, the old wives tales bit was mainly that that you, when it rains a lot and all these slugs and snails have come out from all these hiding places and they just annoy, eat everything is rubbish because otherwise there wouldn't be any plants and hardly anywhere so anyway that's my first video this video now uh, a few planted tips from these cards I've got and one is as a rough guide to planting bulbs, um, rough yeah, they should be planted at two or three times their own height. Don't plant bulbs into the ground which is either frostbound, saturated, or dry. If tender bulbs or shoots become frozen, thaw them out slowly by spraying them with cold water before the sun shines, otherwise they might get scorched. Uh, line flower pots with damp paper when planting and this will help preserve moisture oh this is a long one is it worth reading <laughs> i hope so if you have small small expensive seeds it's a good idea to mix them with a packet of seeds with silver sand the seed with silver sand with a wallpaper paste sewing them into a seed tray this will make for better distribution of plants and making it easier to prick out the seedlings it has been scientifically demonstrated that seedlings will grow stronger if you brush your hand over them a few times each day which obviously uh, simulates the wind if they're you know obviously not outside because they need to be protected from the like, pigeons and the, the slugs and the snails. Yeah, I must admit, when first growing seedlings um, and little baby, you've got your little baby sunflowers coming up and it's been lots of rain and then, like, say you plant 100, you might be... The ratio, what I was taught when I went to gardening, um, learn about gardening and all that, college, was, I don't know, the success rate might be 10%. So plant one for... Uh, wind damage or not coming through you know sort of thing whatever one for the snails or one that thing so it's about a ratio of one in three if you're lucky um so that and you hopefully won't be disappointed but i often with some flowers i plant them out when they're you know they got their little hairy legs on so um they're they're not so a bit tougher to eat as the snails and the slugs like the very tender moist it's easier for their little mouth parts um, but i just tend to bung them in the garden and hope for the best but i usually get some through when you get too obsessed about it it's um it defeats the object of the whole thing really anyway bird sock coming into it um, put support stakes in before you plant a new tree to avoid the possibility of damaging the roots um, you can use, we do this, grass cuttings as a mulch but you need to dry them out first by spreading them out in warm weather or they will rot. That really does keep the moisture in. Well, I mean when in the summertime it's going to get baked generally. Right now there's loads of rain, um, plenty of rain in fact and I will actually do a blog about people moaning about rain even though there's been rather a lot and if you are being flooded out I don't blame you moaning about it <laughs> climbers trees and shrubs trained against the walls and fences give good cover for birds to nest almost any mixed planting will be more resistant to pests and planting which encourages pests and diseases to spread than block planting or like that companion planting where 
certain plants smell of certain things and it deters um, ah, like this one, this very example garlic is said to repel rose pests and garlic chives are just are just as repellent so this is a good way to protect your roses that is companion planting a few more to go the best times to plant out are the evening or afternoon after the sun has left the chosen spot or on a dull day because as i said in my previous videos we don't want to dry up the roots because that will is a real plant killer after a frost try and stay off the grass Treading on the lawn in frosty conditions can damage the grass. I was meant to actually read this out like two months ago, but vinegar kills grass on paths and driveways, kills weeds, deters ants and increases soil acidity. Put broken eggshells into a watering can. This is a really good one. Fill with water and leave overnight. This will extract nutrients, making an excellent and cheap plant food. Last one, but not least, banana skins placed around rose bushes will provide nutrients. A few little tips there, um, and I'll be back soon with a garden tour of lush planting. Okay, hope that was useful. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.